Hey guys, it's Shane here. Just want to give you a quick tour of the new 120 gallon full SPS build. This is the whole system right here. It's about 360 gallons. I went with the Radeon G5 Pros. I'm really excited to see how these grow and color up the corals compared to the G4s that I'm running on all my other tanks. So you can see there's basically one per foot there, which should be plenty of par. So just going over the two tanks, this is a standard 120 gallon tank and this is a 180. I started with the 120 on its own and figured I had all the space so I might as well build onto it. So I got the 180, built the stand and then attached two 40 gallon breeder sumps. I'll show you how that's hooked up in just a moment. So going in to the main display here, this is basically where all of the tenuous frags will be added on. And it should be really good because it looks like I can get really close. So once the coral starts crusting and growing, there should be some really nice close-up shots. There's some low branches here for to see what the lower par does. There's some medium par branches and then there's some really high to the surface branches. So it should be a really nice grow out. Let's see the side view. Side view is going to be really nice too. As you can see with this tank I went with the bare bottom look but in general there is a lot of live rock in the system. So. This is uh, the 180, just really wanted to put this on for water volume so the system was more stable. Just decided to put an aquascape on there, just some, you know, egg crate on top of uh, some live rock. And the whole system now has been running for about eight months, so it should be pretty cycled. I just put on the Trident, so now I can start to get my parameters up. I have no idea what the parameters are. I haven't tested them for eight months. I will test them and post the parameter results uh, as well in a later post. So the Trident, and then in terms of the sumps, it's just two 40 gallon breeders with just a ton of live rock. There's probably about 250 pounds of rock in the system. There's 200 pounds in the 180 and then there's about 50 pounds down here. And then I had to connect the two sumps together uh, basically just drilling through them Cracked one of them trying so it is a pain and then they basically go into the next couple chambers This chamber right here is the miracle mud chamber and you can see that Pretty much most of the growth in the sump. It's hard to see this is all from the miracle mud I mean these are just all kinds of feather dusters of basically a whole colony of feather dusters down there which is awesome. Just growing in the miracle mud and then it goes over to the return chamber. I definitely need some water in here. I gotta set up my uh, auto top off so the salinity stays rock solid. And then in terms of the pumps, there's four, uh, four DC pumps. And the reason why I use four is because I wanted each of the pumps to go to a different return so obviously there's two returns in each so that way if one of the pumps shut off due to failure the whole system would still get cycled so it's more of a fail safe there so that's the whole tour I'm gonna get all the parameters in check I'm gonna test everything I'm actually gonna send in a train to see as well and then hopefully in like a month or so once all the parameters are stable and I also have my GHL doser, I'll, I'll set that up. So I'll keep you guys updated as it keeps progressing.